Tom Cream was a, um, a very ordinary man, a son of a farmer who ran away from home at the age of 15 to join the Royal Navy and then served on three great expeditions to the Antarctic at the turn of the 20th century. And he's one of the very, very few men who served with both Captain Scott and Shackleton and he was deeply respected by them both. He was um, an incredibly powerful man, a man of great resolve and also a man of um, irrepressible optimism. And even in the face of, of, of great adversity, Tom always seemed to be able to raise a laugh or sing a song or, or cheer up people. He was a, um, a man, a jack of all trades. He could do, do pretty much anything. And he was very, very loyal character. So people like Scott and Shackleton could not have been able to do what they did in the Antarctic without the contribution of Tom Crean. Uh, his first expedition was on discovery in 1901 and he joined that really by chance because one of Scott's sailors got drunk and attacked an officer and deserted and so there was a vacancy just as the ship was about to sail into the unknown for two years and uh, Tom volunteered to go the classic Kerry man you know optimistic view of life and he thought well I'll go down there and he went off and was there for two years and was one of the most prodigious uh, men in the sledging harness. He was as tough as old boots. The next expedition was Captain Scott's last, in the one on which he died. And Tom again was a key figure on that, a man of great strength and resolve. And he got to within 150 miles of the South Pole with Scott and uh, they separated for the last time. And on the return journey, uh, Tom Crean performed what I think is the greatest act of individual heroism in the history of polar exploration. It's a, um, he saves the life of a man called uh, Lieutenant Evans and uh, Evans was dying of scurvy and Tom had already walked, if you can imagine, 1500 miles um, which roughly speaking from where we're talking today now in school would get you to Moscow uh, and uh, the food had run out and Evans was dying and Tom agreed to walk the last 35 miles on his own without a tent or a sleeping bag and with only a couple of sticks of chocolate and some biscuits and he did the walk in 18 hours after, despite having already walked 1500 miles and uh, he saved the man's life um, uh, and uh, a few months later he went back out onto the ice again and was one of the men who discovered Captain Scott's dead body in the snow. And the reason that we know Captain Scott reached the South Pole was because Tom Crean found him. So he was uh, a central figure in these expeditions. He'd barely come back from that expedition when he went off with Shackleton on the Endurance Expedition, which is the most famous story of survival, again, in the history of exploration. And, uh, Tom was a key figure on that, and, and the, when the ship was, was crushed and sunk in the Weddell Sea, Tom would have been a mainstay of Shackleton, and uh, it was said that at times there were only two men that Shackleton could truly rely on, and one of them was Tom Crean. Uh, and uh, they lived on the ice for 2,000 miles of drift, and then sailed a very small open boat across to South Georgia, which is about 800 miles. And then they walked across the mountains of South Georgia to bring rescue to their men. And uh, Tom is a man of great um, humility, very, lots of humor, very personal touches. And when they went back to Elephant Island to rescue the, the 22 castaways who'd been left there, uh, as the boat was being rowed ashore, Tom Crean was at the front of the boat 
hurling packets of tobacco at the men because they were all addicted to the ciggies and, uh, and Tom knew that and that's a lovely touch of, of humanity from a man. Um, and that was the last act of Tom Crean as an explorer. Um, he went into the Navy um, and served and Shackleton wanted to take him on a fourth expedition but he turned that down because he just got married and had a child at this point and he wrote back to Shackleton and said he couldn't go because I have a long-haired pal now. And uh, he then came back to Arnold's School and he opened the pub, the South Pole Inn, and he lived here very peacefully. And this man who was an intrepid traveller and, and had spent longer in the ice and snow than either Scott or Shackleton, uh, never travelled again. He never left Arnold's School again. He came home and fed in love A local girl he wed The South Pole in he opened To pull black pints instead A father of three daughters Mary Kate Eileen Though he left this world at 61 His deeds live on Tom Green He ran away to join the Navy When he was just 15 the farmer's son from Armour Skull, the tough and brave Tom Crean.